It is so nice to have you here with us. Welcome to the Human Rights Solidarity event in which we will be celebrating the day of elimination of racial discrimination. Our lovely young friends have created an amazing and exciting program full of interviews, inspiring art performance and so much more. We hope you enjoy. Ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? Because it comes say from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. For two years now, the BBC's reported on camps like these in Western China, where about a million Uyghurs and other Muslim minorities have been detained without. Uh, is and will be one of New Zealand's darkest days. Brenton Tarrant opened fire at two mosques in Christchurch, killing 51 people. Because I was from Afghanistan, they were calling me as a fan or joke or intentionally a terrorist. But you took that name from me. Today you are called terrorist. Uh, it was obvious to me that he was uh, like a high on something. Murder. But in an interview, he told investigators he was just trying to control the crowd that had gathered at the scene. You are classified as someone who's dumb enough not to realize that beyond the skin, all humans are the same. They all have the same internal organs and function the same. Finally, I'd like to tell you that you'd be remembered, but as a scared killer and nothing more. And yes, without even your name. We are known as a perpetual foreigners. We're the permanent foreigners. You can be here for many, many generations and there's always assumptions because of the way we look. People say, where are you from? Where are you really from, right? And when we say, but we're from here, nobody believes you. So I think it's easy to um, target and victimize people that you don't think belong here and that you don't think are Americans. And I think that's the whole underlying system of the race, you know, of racism in this country. They call her Pocahontas. It's a name he first used on the campaign trail. And Pocahontas is not happy. She's not happy. I ask you why people are kneeling, blindfolded and shaven and being led to trains in modern China. Why, what, what is going on there? I do not know where you get this uh, video tape. You yeah, know, they're saying, yeah, get, get off, uh, get off him, get yeah. off his neck. You know, look at him. Suggesting what? Uh, check to on you. Yeah, check on him. Did you do that? That was not my job. Est-ce que c'est mon rôle? Et que je considère ensuite que dans la société nous devons accepter et ménager ce, ce respect de chacune avec chacun. Mais il ne m'appartient pas à moi en tant que président de la République. Right about here, as I was on the phone, someone was so close from behind me, came from here and then just started spitting at me. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. You know, and, and the president lived in the White House. <laughs> And Mary had a little lamb, his feet as white as snow, and snow white, and everything was white. Santa Claus was white, and everything bad was black. The little ugly duckling was a black duck, and the black cat was the bad luck. And if I threaten you, I'm gonna blackmail you. I said, Mama, why don't they call it white male? They lie too. I was always curious. And then, and this is when I knew something was wrong. <laughs> But even the ugliest of viruses can exist in places they are not welcome. Racism exists, but it is not welcome here. 
An assault on the freedom of any one of us to pra who practices their faith or religion is not welcome here. Violence and extremism in all its forms is not welcome here. Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate, you should ask who yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you. Prosecute the police! No justice, no peace! Eradicate the police! No justice! My word will be disgusting, um, it's kind of random but maybe because recently I've been looking at the media and there's been news about anti-blacks, anti-Asians um, and it's kind of a lot of aggressive acts such as um, bashing um, and even murders so it's kind of really sad to talk about it. But the world needs to hear about this uh, and be aware. Um, as for me, I think the first word that springs to my mind um, would be evil. Because for me, I feel like uh, I don't really understand um, where, like, what, pe what racist people, you know, enjoy, like, or get from actually being racist. Um, I feel like it's just pure evil to just make someone feel bad and then laugh it off as if it's a joke. Um, yeah, I just I just don't really understand how anything other than evilness or wickedness could really stem racism other than like hatred and just being plain rude. Um, the first word that comes to my mind was normalised because um, today I think racism is normalised in society. People think it's okay to joke around racism jokes such as or oh, um, did you eat your dog like etc. So I think racism is we need more attention for racism so yeah. Um, unfortunately yes uh, myself and my family have experienced racism. Uh, for myself it's in school, not in this school, but a previous one, and I've been called names just related to China, such as like egg fried rice or a dog eater or something like that. Um, it's kind of upsetting for me to hear. Uh, and my parents, they've also experienced it because uh, they're not e English speakers, so therefore like people think that they're easy and they can just fool them. Just like that. So my parents have been scammed, unfortunately, such as getting fake banknotes. So yeah, they just feel very terrible. And I feel really angry and I wish I did something about it. Um, for me, um, I don't believe the racism me and my family have experienced has necessarily been a direct face-to-face uh, -face harsh, harsh um, racism. Uh, I believe that um, the racism that uh, my family has have experienced has mainly been uh, the the side comments or like the normalized uh, racism. So like things like "Oh, you're pretty for a black girl," or um, uh, in in Africa, do you guys sleep on sand? Like uh, things like that have been very normalized in today's society. Um, but you should understand, especially if you're like around our age, you should understand that those comments are racist and they do offend a lot of people. And um, I think people try to tend to like try and laugh off and make it seem as if it's a joke, but it, it really does hurt someone at the end of the day. Um, and I feel like you you should be aware of that and you shouldn't just use your ignorance to. Uh, as an excuse for your racist comments? Mm, me and my family have experienced racism since day one. Um, we came to this country. So I, since I started in primary school, and it's, we were quite young, so I get why some kids are racist. But I think get to the age of middle school, 
I don't think any people have the excuse to use racism as a joke to hurt someone else because it's not only a joke and it can cause mental illness and stuff like that. So I've experienced like name calling and maybe physical like people will be pushing around and be like, oh, you're Chinese, blah, 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 since COVID started. So I think people need to accept other people's differences and just be kind. Oh, can I also add like, currently this covid coming around and before kind of when it actually happened when it hit this country some people did ask me oh do you have covid or are you coughing or something like that and it kind of just kind of made me sad side news like that are racist guys so dean don't use them um my message would be to be more aware be more educated about people's race and their culture and how things like name calling or any violent acts is should not be normalized and to be oh to have more action against this kind of thing maybe form a club for just ethnic minorities to come together place it when they can express their feelings and to feel safe because at the moment it is not safe out here and we just really want the society to be normal once and have equal rights and feel equal um i think for me the basic message that i want to uh, kind of give to today's society is um just to be kind uh i know that's kind of cliche for me to say however i do think that there's a problem in today's society where people aren't um as kind as they should be i feel like kindness um is the basic foundation of humanity to exist, I think, personally. Um, and I feel like without kindness, I don't think that the world could have gone anywhere. Uh, and the way that it's looking now, it's not looking like the world is going anywhere because the amount of kindness I'm seeing is so minimalistic. And I feel like everyone should just be kind to people, like do not discriminate and do not judge people just because of their religion. Um, skin color, skin color, uh, gender identity, things like that. I feel like um, you shouldn't really discriminate against someone because of. Um, so I think people need to accept other people's differences and just treat everyone equally because we're just humans. There's no differences, and I think some people need to stop using racism as an excuse to hate certain people. Just accept that they are like we're all the same. So yeah. My thoughts are on the racism. We, I think the racism, it's, it's not the root of the problem, it's, uh, it's a consequence. The root of the problem is the personal pride, I would say, when one people, sorry, one type, uh, a group of people think that they are somehow better than other group. So this is what racism is, but if there were no uh, concept of race, let's say there is no race, idea of the race in this world, then still people would be finding different reason for saying that I am better than you. So the racism is just a simple consequence, I think. So we have to look at the root of the problem is that when one person says that I am somehow bet better than you or something like that. And uh, you also mentioned the word, uh, well, the, when I hear the racism, that's the first word that came that comes to my mind. It's it's pride. A human pride makes uh, some people to think that they are somehow above than other people. So again, if you want to remove or eradicate racism, you just have to talk about the idea of the pride or that 
the idea that some person somehow can be better than other. Of course, I'm talking about uh, being better based on gender, the race, uh, maybe the physical appearance. Uh, but you can think that one person is better in other uh, than another one. If you talk about, let's say, morals or some uh, moral accomplishments or, let's say, in sports, some people are running faster than other. So, so uh, one person is better in running, which is fine. But if one person is Asian and uh, another one is the representative from the, the African community, no, we cannot say that one of them is better than another one. That's it, I think. This is one of our interviews for the day of the elimination of uh, racial discrimination. I'm here today with Kadir. Hi, Kadir. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Kadir Maher. I'm one of Asiya's friends, and I want to really help people realize and understand my point of view about racism. So I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kadir. So uh, our first question of this interview is, what is one word that springs to your mind when we say racism? Um, stupidity, injustice. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, pretty much sums it up. And have you or your family ever experienced racism? Mm. Yeah, I have. I remember one incident. I used to wear um, hijab before mm -hmm. and I was standing at the traffic with my friend and there was this boy and he started throwing food at my head, which was where the hijab was basically. And I didn't realize at that time, I didn't really think anything. I just thought he was just playing around, being immature and stuff. But then he started like saying, um, Allahu Akbar and stuff and it's stuff that they usually say to like offend me and everything and that's when I knew that he was being Islamophobic and racist yeah thanks for sharing that with us um, and what would be your message to the world in line with the importance of today I would say that it just needs to stop it's really unimportant and really weird that this is even a thing to begin with. Like, why would somebody need to even be racist just because of somebody's race? Like, why are you judging someone about something that they can't even choose or control? Like, judge someone about their personality, judge someone about the way that they treat you. Don't judge them about their physical appearance that they can't change in five minutes. I just think that everybody needs to be treated equally because we are all human beings and we are, we've are we all been brought into this world the same way. Nothing is different about any of us. Racism жалпы қазір бар, бұрын да болған. Racism адамның түр түсіне қарап бөлу, Оларды шеттету, оларды алалау дұр семес деп ойлаймын. Себебі барлық адам маңыз демес. Түрі қандай, түсі қандай, діні қандай, ұлты қандай, сенімі қандай болса да, тен құқылы өмір сүруге құқығы бар. Шетелде болып атқан, яда ә, батыста болып атқан расизм мәселесі әрине мені ә, біраз қын жылтады. Асресе дамыған мемлекеттерде расизмнің болуы, яғни бірінші санаттағы мемлекеттерде расизмнің болуы, бұл өте өкінішті, қайғылы жағдай.
Thank you all for turning into our program. We hope have achieved our goal and affected you or inspired you in some way. Thanks to our volunteers for their contribution. Please do not forget to follow us on our socials in the description down below. See you again next time.